everyone, welcome to Find Your Flow. My name is Natalie and I am going to be guiding you through this practice today to get the body moving, to get the blood flowing. Great for if you're feeling stuck, lacking a little bit of inspiration or motivation. So get into something really, really comfy, find a mat or a comfortable space and get your at-home props. So your books, bricks, blocks, blankets, pillows, cushions, towels, whatever you have to hand to find that little bit of extra love and space. And whenever you're ready, we are going to start in a mountain pose, Tadasana. The feet hips distance apart, toes tracking forwards, knees over the toes. Everybody bringing the left hand to the heart and the right hand to the stomach. And just really feel the feet connecting to the earth as we close the eyes or soften the gaze. Send the shoulders away from the ears. Unclench the jaw. Take any tension away from the muscles of the face and just start to breathe with intention. Breathing and with every inhale and exhale, we know that we're doing this. Maybe you like to feel your breath physically through the touch of your hand, with your right hand on the stomach or maybe you hear the breath or notice how it feels in the roof of the mouth. Or maybe you visualize the breath floating around the body as it enters through the nostrils, comes all the way around the lungs, filling up all of the space and then leaves the nostrils. Whatever works for you, just listen to that, work with that and connect to the breath. Inhaling completely, exhaling completely, noticing what you brought with you to the mat today, what your energy is like, how your mind feels, are your thoughts coming in really loudly, are you feeling a bit scattered, is your breath feeling a bit short, are you feeling tired, sluggish, anxious? angry, worried, anything at all. Notice exactly how you're feeling. You might be feeling energized, full of life, happy, excited, positive. Just really be present with how you are. Nice. On your next exhale, smiling, curling up the corners of the mouth. Just repeat to yourself or in your mind or out loud. I am my breath. You can repeat this a couple more times if you like or if another mantra or intention comes to mind, anything at all, just say that instead. Whenever we're ready, taking the biggest inhale you're taking in all day. Opening the mouth, sighing your breath out. <sighs> really letting go two more times. <sighs> Keeping everything soft as we breathe out once more. <sighs> Opening the eyes. Shaking the hands, the wrists. Shaking the legs and the feet. It's getting all of the blood flow and starting to move the body. Coming back to mountain pose, as we inhale, we'll reach the arms wide, bend the knees, reach for the sky. And exhale, releasing, crossing the arms over. One more time, reaching all the way up. This time, hands come together down at the heart, taking a breath in our Anjali Mudra. Exhaling, releasing the arms as we reach them towards the sky. This time, taking hold of the right wrist with the left hand, reaching tall, finding space, keeping the hips and the lower body planted as we fold over to the left side. Breathing into the space in our side body. Inhaling, 
Exhaling, floating to centre, taking the left wrist with the right hand, reaching tall first before folding over to the right. Taking a nice, full, deep breath in. And on your exhale, floating all the way back to centre, releasing the arms, tucking the chin towards the chest as we roll down towards the ground in a fold. Keeping the knees nice and soft, generous bend. Swaying from side to side, letting the arms release, heavily swinging from left to right. And then the next time we come over to the right, we'll bend our left elbow towards the sky, lead with the elbow as we rise. Fingertips reach, arms reach, and then painting the mat in front of us, folding forwards. Swaying to the left, swaying to the right. Next time we come to the left, lead with the right elbow, reach for the sky, arms float high, fingertips wiggle, painting the mat, folding forwards, nice. Inhaling to lift up halfway, your version of a flat back, finding length with the spine and in the neck and releasing as we fold. Curling the chin towards the chest, rolling slowly up to standing. Pressing down through the feet lightly, arms reach and rise. Hands come together at the heart, bending the knees, sitting bones float to the back of our mat, chair pose. Notice the weight distribution in the feet. Can we feel our weight through all four corners of the feet, through the toes, the heels, the outer edges and the inner arches? Can we find even more length through our spine? Heart space towards the thumbs, thumbs towards the heart space. Breathing here, notice how you feel. Either staying here or reaching the hands back, airplane wings with the arms and rocking off the heels onto the toes, sitting back a little lower. Breathe in, feel the body, feel the blood waking up, breathing in. As you breathe out, folding forwards. Everybody meeting, hugging opposite hand to opposite elbow, swaying from side to side. And planting the palms, stepping or hopping the feet back to your plank pose. Knees lifted. Or lower down, choose your own adventure. It's really sending away through the heels if the knees are lifted, pressing through the palms wherever we are to lift this space in between our shoulder blades. Breathe in here, waking up your center, nice. Taking a nice breath in and out. Keeping the knees lifted or lowering them down for this as the shoulders stay forwards over the wrist, elbows float behind us, lowering to the earth. Taking their feet as wide as the mat, hands back by the rib cage, finding space, lightly pressing to the earth as the heart space lifts forwards, baby cobra. Keep down towards the ground, finding space between the shoulders and the ears, and releasing, nice. Pressing all the way up, half plank, so knees on the ground, and then softening the hips to the heels. Child's pose. You can keep the knees close together or open them a bit wider with the toes coming to touch. Yogi's choice. Feel how you feel. But rather than just sitting back in this child's pose and staying still, I mean you can do if you want to, I wanted to invite a little bit of movement, just really gently. Oiling into the hips, getting the spine moving. We're getting a bit of lotion in the joints around the shoulders, just a bit. Nice. And everybody lifting into tabletop, all fours with the wrists beneath the shoulders, knees beneath the hips, bumping the hips to the left, gazing past the right. Bumping the hips to the right, gazing past the left. And coming to centre, tucking the toes under as we start to find circles coming back over the tucked feet and forward and round over the wrists, waking up. The wrist joint and the ankles, getting some movement and space into the deep fascia of the feet. Nice, just really move in a way that feels good here. Then send your circle in the opposite direction. Notice where your breath is. Nice, coming all the way back, keeping the toes tucked under, walking the hands back onto the thighs. Sitting here, if we need to, we can lift onto the knees, take any padding under the knees, just listen to your body, breathing in, reaching the arms wide, wherever we are. 
Breathe it out, releasing the arms, come into a twist, left hand to the outer right thigh, right hand swims behind us, and really feeling our rotation from the ribs and the thoracic spine, keeping the shoulders soft, not cranking the shoulders, head and neck around. One more breath here, before floating the hands high, reaching all the way back up and over to the other side, twisting over to the left. Right hand to the outer left thigh, left hand all the way behind. Just waking up the centre, massaging our internal organs. Gorgeous, taking and one more breath in before floating all the way to centre. I know the toes are talking to you, listen to them, but take a nice breath in. And release, hands interlace behind the back body. Sending the knuckles down and away, can we lift our heart, lift our gaze. And float the hands forwards, interlacing, reaching the palms away, curling through the spine, chin towards the chest, taking a breath in. And coming back to centre, off the feet, you'll be happy to know, back to tabletop, cat-cow. So, throwing our tailbone down, arching our spine, dropping our gaze into cat pose, really feel this. Feel free to waggle your tail, my new words that we made up, waggle from side to side. And floating the tailbone high, tummy floats down, gaze in front, cow pose. Just move in a way that feels good for you here. You can really slow this down. You might speed this up slightly, but really keep your movement conscious. Be aware of every single feeling you can feel, rather than just reaching the pose and staying there. Experience the transition. Breathe with your own body as it is today. One more time, coming through your cat pose. And cow pose, gorgeous. We'll meet back in a neutral spine, tucking the toes under, walking the hands all the way forwards, pressing into the palms, floating the knees off, lifting the hips high, downward facing dog, pedal through the heels. Bend the knees really generously to find this length through the spine. And everybody floating the left leg off the ground. Bending the left knee. Remember, it doesn't need to be all the way off. It can just be an inch off the ground if you like. Keeping the hips level wherever we are. So notice if we have this tendency to want to open straight away. Try and keep them level for now as we find circles with the left knee. So we're carving a line through space. Three circles one way, three circles the other way. Really explore this range of motion you have today in the hips. Be present and breathe. And whenever you finish sending the left leg along, three-legged dog. And then bending the knee as we step it all the way forwards, coming into a lunge. Keeping the back knee lifted or lowering it down. Wherever we are finding this nice wide stance as we rise. Fingertips flow high and then softening the elbows and the shoulders. Cactus arms, gorgeous. Breathing in, floating the arms back, lifting the heart. Breathing out, curling the palms together, chin towards the chest. Coming all the way back to centre, reaching the arms. Taking the left wrist with the right hand. Folding over to the right side. Breathing in. Breathing out. Floating to centre. Into a twist. Right hand down onto your brick. Book, block or the earth. Left hand to the ribs as they spiral open to the left side and reach towards the sky. Remember the back knee can be down here. Take a nice breath in. As you breathe out, stay in your twist. Lifting the right hand off away from the earth, as we reach it forwards, left hand floats back. A little bit of yoga for the brain here, so we're still twisting over to the left side. Breathing in, breathing out. Everyone float the left hand behind you, either to the small of the back, the glute space, or the back of the right thigh, as we reach the right hand towards the sky. Breathe into the front body and the side body. And as the back knee's lifted, keep sending away through the heel as we take a nice inhale in. Exhale out, unravel, come all the way back to centre in your lunge. 
and release, planting the palms. Stepping your way back to your plank pose, knees lifted or lowered. Sending the elbows behind you, coming down to the ground. Feet wide, lightly pressing, heart space lift forwards, baby cobra. And softening to the earth, lifting your weight to your plank and either finding a child's pose or a downward facing dog. Choose your own adventure today. We'll meet in our down dog, floating the right leg off the ground, bending the right knee and finding those circles through the knee, three one way, three the other way. Feel the earth through the fingertips, keep pressing the fingers wide. And whenever you finish coming back, three legged dog, leg nice and long. And bending the knee, stepping it forwards into your lunge, back knee lifted or lowered. Rising, finding cactus arms. Notice in the space in the left hip flexor here as we take a breath in. Floating the arms back, lifting the heart. And breathing out, palms float together, rounding. Nice. Coming all the way back to center, reaching the arms. Taking hold of the right wrist with the left hand, reaching tall and then folding over to the left side. Coming all the way back, releasing the arms, finding your twist, left hand down, right hand reaches for the sky. Really notice this twist through the ribs and through the thoracic spine. Taking a nice breath in here and then staying in your twist, lifting the left hand off and reaching it forwards, right hand back. Nice, notice the front knee, is it over the front ankle space? Right hand reaches wherever it falls as the left hand reaches towards the sky. Then we find even more space, keeping the shoulders soft. Be kind to yourself, breathe easy. Gorgeous, floating all the way back to center, planting the palms, stepping into your plank pose and lowering down to the ground, elbows come behind, pressing down lightly, lifting the heart forwards, baby cobra and softening. Pressing back lightly and everybody joining together in a child's pose or downward facing dog, choose your own adventure. Wherever you are, either in down dog or child's pose, lightly come back up or come down to meet in a seat. So take what support you need to. We're coming to find anything comfortable for you and your body today. Maybe it's Sukhasana, maybe it's something else. When you arrive there, find this long spine all the way from the tip of the tailbone to the crown of the head. Close the eyes or soften the gaze. Notice how you feel. Tune into the breath. Tune into the body. Tune in to this moment. Left hand to the heart, right hand to the stomach.
our next conscious exhale, smile. Inviting ourselves to bring this sense of calm, this conscious breath with us off our mat and into the rest of our day or night. Floating the palms together at the heart, if that resonates, or keeping them where they are. As we bow the head towards the heart, in gratitude for this moment. And I thank you for your time, for your love, and your movement, your practice, your energy. From my heart to yours, namaste.